we've already given you the tutorial on how to jump rope like Jake Gyllenhaal and Southpaw, but we forgot to mention one thing, his Zen Dude body. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down how to get a body like Jake Gyllenhaal from the movie Southpaw. What's up players? What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Dan Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness. We comment back to every single thing that you guys say to us. We look at every single like, we look at every single subscribe, and it means a lot to us. So thank you, and if you love this video, if you love this channel, go ahead and give us some more love by giving this video a like and a subscribe as well so we can continue to teach you guys how to get lean and live a more epic life with the jump rope. If you want the jump rope that we always use, that we always promote, it's the best jump rope out there on the market. It's the cross rope, I say it in every single video. Video. If you guys want a 10% off discount to get yourself started and skipping yourself lean, that link is right here or up here. That link is down here. That link is only down here. So Jake's physique is the epitome of the Zen Dude physique in this movie because he's lean, but he's also very strong and explosive, but at the same time he's not too tight, he's fast. And Jake looks pretty amazing. Billy Hope, as you can see here, he looks pretty awesome in a suit as well. Not that Zen dudes wear suits that often, but just in case you're trying to impress that lady for a nice dinner out, you know, you might want to throw one on, I don't know. So first I want to talk about where Jake was at. Now before the movie Southpaw, Jake had already lost 30 pounds to play the role in his previous movie, Nightcrawler. So he came into this, not super scrawny, but skinny. What he needed to do and what he ended up doing was packing on 15 pounds of pure muscle. And as you can see from the photos in the video, I think he might have been six to seven percent body fat. I mean, the guy was just shredded. So how did he get there? First and foremost, guys, Jake trained for this role five months. I'm talking five straight months of training twice per day because in Jake's mind, and as he mentions, he basically got in 10 months of training. Over five months, you know, every single day, twice a day, you just start learning the techniques. I trained for five months. I trained twice a day for five months. I'd wake up in the morning and over time, I added miles to my road work, but I'd start at like three miles and then eventually I was running eight miles. And then I would go and I'd work out for two hours. We'd do mitt work, heavy bags, speed Did you know how to I knew nothing about boxing when I started, really. And I knew that in order for me to pull it off in any way, I was just gonna have to learn how to do it. So he had no prior experience boxing, even sparring, even hitting a heavy bag or a speed bag. So he had to get, he had to basically become a fighter in a very short period of time. So instead of training once a day, he trained twice per day for I mean, Jake would train for a total of four to six hours every single day, including Sundays, for five straight months to get in the shape that he was in. So, please understand at the base of all this, when you're doing boxing training, like hitting the speed bag, jumping a lot of rope, sparring, you are burning a massive amount of calories. So, when talking about how to get a body like Jake Gyllenhaal in the movie Southpaw, just understand that this dude was moving all the time. And that's what we constantly talk about here at Zen Dude Fitness, it's why I have do the thing written on my shirt and tattooed on my fingers. Do the thing. As described by his trainer, Jake would typically do three hours of boxing in the morning followed by strength, conditioning, and cardio at night. What's interesting is to build up a lot of muscle mass. If you're someone who's very scrawny and wanna get big, you do need to be hitting the weight room. So he talked about doing some strength training, but he wasn't really doing, you know, three times a week doing uh, like bench press and squats and deadlifts. He wasn't doing that kind of training. A lot of the work he was doing was more focused on agility and speed. Speed. So while Jake wasn't hitting the weight room super consistently and wasn't doing your traditional lifts that typically get you that bodybuilder physique, he was doing a massive amounts of pull-ups and sit-ups. And yes, you can build muscle depending on how you eat with those body weight exercises. So Jake, that's how he got a lot bigger in his arms and as you can see in his chest area because he was constantly working those muscles in his upper body. We'll always be upfront with you guys. If you wanna gain muscle the fastest way, you need to lift weights. Chances are you probably don't have six hours every single day to train and do as many sit-ups and pull-ups as Jake does. So you're gonna have to hit the weight room because that's a more efficient way to put on muscle. We included a link to our gaining muscle course down below. So if you're looking, if you're, if you're thinner and wanna build muscle in a lean and 
strong way, check out that course below. And of course, as you can see in many of the clips here and as you see in the other video I shot, Jake became extremely proficient at jumping rope. I'm not just talking, you know, he could jump rope regular bounce pretty fast. My man is doing crossovers, double unders, even a move, the side swipe single under that I could not pull off in the tutorial. So Jake became an amazing jump roper. Again, total body workout. Burns a, ton, burns a ton of calories. That's why boxers look the way they do because they jump a lot of rope and do a lot of high agility activity. In addition, his cardio also included just simply a lot of boxing. So speed bag, heavy bag, sparring, all of that is super strenuous on your body and provides a great calorie burn. Okay, next I want to address something that the internet put out because not everything that's on the internet is reliable and I can't get this out of my head so I have to share it with you guys. In researching, you know Brandon and I are very meticulous about researching how these people got their bodies. So when we look at, when we make videos like this, we scour the internet for all the information we can find and I kept coming across this article and many articles that were saying Jake Gyllenhaal was doing 2,000 sit-ups per day and that's why his torso looked the way it did maybe he did do 2,000 sit-ups a day I mean the guy was training four to six hours so he was doing a lot of work and I believe that he definitely had the dedication to put that in but I couldn't find any videos or actual quotes of Jake confirming that he was doing 2,000 sit-ups a day now why is that important because guys, doing 2,000 sit-ups a day is a nice title, it's a nice headline for a newspaper, but that's not why Jake got so ripped in his torso. If you take, if you examine his six pack, Jake is very lean because let me remind you, he was in a calorie deficit. He was burning a massive amount of calories through jumping rope and boxing training and doing a lot of push-ups and pull-ups, not because he was doing 2,000 sit-ups a day. While he might have been doing a lot of sit-ups, that did not, that was not not the sole reason that Jake looks the way he does for this role. At the same time, if you have information and you have like a video saying, and Jake Gyllenhaal's like, yeah, I totally did 2,000 sit-ups, then send it to me, because I, I want to be, I want that knowledge in this video. Let me be straight with you, you don't get a six pack by doing 2,000 sit-ups a day. You get a six pack by being in a calorie deficit and losing body fat all over your entire body, okay? So that means doing a lot of high intensity training, doing a lot of jump rope workouts like we have on this channel, doing a lot of push-ups, pull-ups, body weight exercises, and even some weightlifting from time to time. You might be what you might be asking yourself, Dan, how am I supposed to get this body? I don't have four to six hours to train every single day. That is totally understandable first and foremost. Not everyone is a Hollywood actor, okay? So you can still get his body by just following a few simple rules. Like I mentioned earlier, if you're looking to gain muscle, gain lean muscle, you do need to calculate your calories and macronutrients because you need to, you need to be eating a consistent amount of carbs, fats, and proteins so that your body builds muscle or can lose body fat. So if you're skinnier and you're looking to gain muscle, what I need you to do is go, first and foremost, we linked up our calorie and macronutrient calculator below. Fill in your numbers, start tracking it in my fitness pal. If you have any questions, again, we laid all of this out in our gaining muscle course link below. But if you guys are bigger framed, like Brandon and I used to be, we were bigger frame guys that didn't need to build muscle, we just needed to lose body fat, then check out our getting lean course, which I have linked up below. Also follow all the workouts on this channel. Guys, we have an abundance of high intensity workouts that are gonna help you maintain your lean muscle mass, but shred you up and lose body fat. To reach Jake Gyllenhaal's physique is completely attainable. It's absolutely doable for everyone. You just need to know where your starting point is. If you need to get bigger, you need to be lifting weights and doing high intensity workouts with the combination of eating the right amount of calories and macronutrients, eating in a calorie surplus so you can gain that muscle. If you need to lose weight and just shred up body fat, you need to be eating in a calorie deficit and doing a lot of the high intensity and body weight workouts like we recommend. What was Jake's diet? I love the answer that is provided for what was Jake's diet during all of this because he was basically like, no, I didn't track my calories and macronutrients. Why is that, Jake? Well, because I was burning like 4,000 of them a day. If you're someone who's like a pro athlete, you don't need to necessarily track your calories and macronutrients because you are expending such a large amount that it's probably hard, it was probably hard for Jake just to be able to eat enough so he could continue to pack on muscle. One thing I did find interesting is that Jake talks about how much Chipotle he ate during his training. So why is Chipotle a good option? 
because it has all the macronutrients that you need delivered in a healthy and delicious way. Tons of protein, lots of good carbohydrates, lots of good fat. So Jake talks about he didn't really track his food, but he made sure that those three macronutrients form the base of all of his meals. Lastly guys, and the most important part of this entire video is Jake's mindset. Take a look at this clip right here. A lot of people ask me often, they say, uh, we have talk about the, oh, you got in shape and whatever, how many sit-ups did you do and how many push-ups and how many days did you work out? And I, and I just literally never thought of that. Like I, I, what I thought about was I just need to be, I need to learn how to box. Hallelujah, Jake. Now the reason Jake got ripped for this role is exactly what he just said. He didn't even think one time about how long it was going to take him to get to be proficient in boxing. He just did the work every single day until he achieved the result. That's a great metaphor for you guys. A lot of people ask us, Dan, how long is it gonna take me? Is it gonna be four weeks? Is it gonna be two months? Is it gonna be a year until I have the body? And my answer is, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Stop focusing on how long it's gonna take you and just put in the work that you know you have to do every day and don't stop until you have the results. Some of you, it might be two months. Some of you, it might be two years. The point is, guys, you don't reach any big landmark like that in your physique without just putting in the work consistently. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video today on how to get a body like Jake Gyllenhaal in the movie Southpaw. Please understand that if this man can go from nothing, not knowing anything about boxing and being a little bit scrawny when he started, to being a not only a badass boxer but super lean and ripped, that you can do anything you set your mind to as well. Please believe that. Zendu Nation, we're out. Hey guys, again, if you love this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Every single one means the world to us, and we cannot wait to continue this awesome journey of fitness and fun with you all in 2017. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen.